On Friday, July 26th, Governor Andy Bashir visited the Wayland community to dedicate 11 new homes to families who survived the 2022 floods. Not only that, but construction is already underway to expand the site and add over 100 new homes for more displaced families to move into. Mountaintop News spoke with Governor Bashir to learn more. We're going to have a whole new community with hundreds of homes in Knott County. Uh, to look forward would be to, to cheapen or lessen the importance of this job and everything you get to do in it. I love I love my job. I'm Kentuckian through and through. Kentucky is in my DNA, and this has been one of the times where Kentucky has been in most need of the type of leadership that can bring people together and move projects like this forward. Today, you've seen Democrats and Republicans being totally nonpartisan, living out their faith and values, and serving the, the people of Kentucky. Uh, I have new friends here that we made in, in the height of adversity uh, and are doing such an incredible job that we get to support. So I'm, I'm pretty happy where I am. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. Governor Bashir and Team Kentucky are dedicating themselves to doing the work no one sees in order to ensure the best for Appalachian residents. Upon completing the Wayland site, that will total over 500 new homes built since the flooding. When you step back and you look at the investments and what's done, you see how much work has been done. The stuff you can't see is the hardest to do. Uh, the water and the sewer projects, uh, the roads, uh, getting the HUD funding, getting the plans through for the HUD funding, accessing the, the HUD funding. Uh, but where we are right now is that moment. And it happened after the tornadoes in the West, where we go from building homes to building neighborhoods. And the scale we're going to do it here is going to be truly exciting. We're going to have the infrastructure in place to build 100 plus homes all at the same time. So really exciting. And I can't wait to see 100 plus keys handed out to families where those kids get to run and choose their new room. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.